get told to start with a yes. So yes, we all agree, once again, Georgia, best team in football. Absolutely awesome, right? After that, we got a problem. We have several problems. Look at this graphic. What is this? What, what, are you, what is this? You're telling us this is a pageant contest. Winning doesn't matter. That's what you're telling us. We know this because Alabama at number two, they're not just eight and one. They looked awful. Awful in Tuscaloosa against an awful LSU team that was without nearly every five star they had on the roster. They had absolute backups at every position on defense. You beat that team by a touchdown, a literal touchdown, 20 to 14, and they had a chance to beat you late. You're not great. You're merely good. And good is a top 25 team. Good is not the number two team in the country. You look pedestrian. They did not rank Alabama in 2021. They ranked Alabama's resume for the last 100 plus years. This is garbage. There's no way you can hold this up. Aliens come down to earth. You tell them that this is your ranking. They'll be like, wait a second. What's that one on the other side? Oh, that's a loss. Okay. What about zeros? Do those matter? No. Why? Because we don't think that other team looks as good as the other team. But they lost. Yeah. So? Well, isn't your sport about winning and losing? I mean, sort of. What? What is this? And then look at number, look at number three. Oregon looked absolutely awful against a Washington team that has nearly fired everybody whose head coach got suspended for looking like he pushed a player. Oregon was in an absolute game with a bad Washington team. A Washington team that lost to FCS Montana. What are we doing here? You're telling me that Washington being 90 yards away from scoring, putting up a two-point conversion, and then forcing the game into overtime against Oregon makes Oregon the number three team in the country? Get out of my face with this, man! I can't with this! What are we doing? Then take a look at number four. Okay? Number four is Ohio State. They're in the playoff now. They're in the playoff now after losing to Oregon. After being in an absolute game. With Nebraska, who, like Washington, doggone near fired everybody. On offense, Scott Frost fired everybody but the tight ends coach for the way they performed against Ohio State, who looked absolutely awful trying to run the football. And then I got people that absolutely want to throw this to C.J. Stroud's feet, as if throwing for 400 yards is not a big deal. No, you got problems. You know why I know you got problems? Because you were this close to losing 3-7 and seven, Nebraska. But more than that, you have a literal problem. You have a loss on your resume. I got three teams in a four-team playoff that have a loss. I got four undefeated teams, and only one of them is in the playoff. That doesn't make any sense. What are we doing? This is egregious. Look, man, we get to number five. Fine. I will let you have Cincinnati at number five. Because I don't think that one of these teams in the top four is going to stay there. Or at least, I hope not. I mean, I swear. What does Alabama do have to do to not get into this playoff? Huh? Who do they have to lose to? How much do they have to lose by? How bad do they have to look? What are we doing here? Are we just trying to hand Nick Saban all the championships? Because that's what it feels like. It feels like we don't respect winning. Look here, man. Cincinnati struggled against my alma mater, University of Tulsa. I'm watching that game. I was mad as hell watching that game because they had every opportunity to try to go get a W against Cincinnati when they were down 14-12 at halftime, just like Cincinnati was up 14-12 against Tulane the week prior. Okay? Does it look like a playoff team? No. Are they undefeated? Yes. Winning matters. I don't care what they look like. It says nine in the win column and zero in the loss column. You're growing up. You play Pee Wee. You play Mighty Mites. 
You play junior middle school. You play high school. They tell you that winning is all that matters. It doesn't matter if you win by an inch or by a mile. Winning is winning, except when you get to friggin' college football. We're seriously, we're mocking ourselves with this. I don't understand. And then I got Michigan, who ain't beat nobody. Nobody, I tell you. At number six, why? They lost to Michigan State. Get them out of here. Get, get, get them out of here. Say Michigan State, they lost to Purdue last week. But the one that I know y'all are all here to hear me talk about ain't Michigan. Heck, it ain't even Michigan State at seven. It's number eight, Oklahoma. Who's 9-0? All right. Let's talk about this thing y'all love talking about, which is strength of schedule. Their schedule's not strong. I don't. I, their schedule's weak. They haven't played anybody. They were down ten to zero to Kansas. Did they win? Did, 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 they, did they win? Yes. They've won every game. They even beat Idol by last week. I'm telling you, man. The reason I hate your strength of schedule comment is because the kids, the players, don't make the schedule. We merely ask them to go play. We merely ask them to go win, which is hard enough because everybody's trying to win all the time. If it was easy to win, why do we only have four undefeated teams left of 130? Why are we so into discrediting what these kids are doing on a football field? Because all of you that want to talk about strength of schedule do not have the wherewithal to go up to any one of these players and tell them they're not good enough. Because you know you'd be lying to them. Expand the playoff, you cowards. Give me 10 conference champions. Give me six at-large bursts. And let's duke it out, man. Why are we doing this? Why are we allowing these 13 people in the Grand Hyatt in Grapevine, Texas, tell us who is good and who isn't when we have a scoreboard doing exactly that? Thanks for watching this video and remember hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos on the number one ranked show YouTube channel.